I'm going to quickly show you how to digitize a drainage tank in Site3D. So I have a drainage run that is heading towards my outfall here and I want to assign a storage tank to this manhole. So what I need to do is digitize out the shape of a tank in this vicinity here and I also want to align it in this case to this direction of the pipe. So what I'm going to do is go to my uh, ponds, earthworks and tanks option here and hit new tank and hit new tank line. And so now I can use my construction line offsets to help me produce this line. So I'm going to offset this one by say, yeah, five meters should do that. I'll offset it to the side and I'll extend that line because I want it to go beyond the end here. And then use my snap to any point on the line to help me position this. So I'm going to start my wall um, but roughly halfway here and I'm going to bring it all the way to uh, beyond the end here. And now if I turn on my snap to perpendicular lines, it will now lock to the 90 degree angles of the points that I've clicked. So I want to bring this to somewhere over here and you can see it now offer me to do these kind of things. If I just create a uh, sort of arbitrary shape here to, just to show you what you can do, you can see it locks to the angles that we want it to. So let's uh, produce that one here, click it on the inside, right click and hit finish. And now I have my tank in here and you can see I've got my cut and fill volume as well as a water storage volume. If you have a look on the 3D view you can see the water storage doesn't go all the way to the top it's got a small amount of freeboard in here which we can change go to the uh, properties of that tank and we can say well actually I want no freeboard here I want to show the water storage volume of the tank entirely full. So that's kind of showing this kind of thing. I may want to then change the um, invert level of that tank. I'll just drop that one here and change it from 12 to 12.3 uh, to 12.0. Just drop it down, and you'll see that move on the 3D view here. I may want to then increase the height of the tank again. So it's currently defaulting to 1.2 meters. Let's make that 1.5 meters. So I made it slightly bigger, and you can see the cut and fill calculations have changed as well as the water storage values. From here. Then just close that one down and we can save that out. So we can save it out as a micro drainage MDX or as a flow file. Bring this one out, export out the uh, stormwater, the surface water system, export that one. And I'm just going to overwrite that file for the moment. Yes, replace it. And then I can go into the likes of micro drainage, open up an existing file, which is the f and open up the file that I've just saved. And then it'll come in with the uh, design criteria. I'll type in some values just to get me past this for the moment, but obviously you choose something specific to your site. And now you can see I have my tank uh, in that manhole assigned at the top right there. So I can go to my network and pond and tank storage structures. And it'll show me the details of that tank in here. And you can see we have our tank depth area diagram shown. And it's as easy as that. That is showing the uh, tank storage structures inside Site3D. Thank you.